Hey guys, uh, this video will not be like my others. Um, now, I'm generally the type of person to shy away from drama, but uh, I need to address a problem that I have with an individual. Uh, now, silence is complicity. I feel compelled to speak out. Uh, now, back in December, I agreed to do a first to 10 exhibition with Costner for the YouTube channel of Lizard K Rule. There were no problems at that time, and I rather enjoy being highlighted on, on someone else's channel along with Costner, who's a, a great Mortal Kombat X player. Um, my problem is with Lizard K. Rule's next video, which he titled Legendary Bane vs. Angry Trans Woman Gamer, where he played against someone he believes is transgender for about 42 minutes. Um, I'm not going to mention this person's name, just, you know, for privacy concerns. Um, Mr. Rule explains that he's pretty sure his opponent is a transsexual because he can, quote, tell by the voice. Uh, so what? You know, people's voices just sound like their voices. Being transgender isn't bad, so why even point out someone's voice unless it's to focus on it for, you know, negative reasons? Um, at around 3.02 in his video, he says about, that, uh, about this person, quote, some of these motherfuckers are really deceptive. He calls the subject of his video a tranny and says how hilarious the whole thing is. Now, the whole intent behind his video is to publicly shame his opponent on YouTube for being transgender. In the video description, he even posted a link to his opponent's personal Facebook page, which he later removed when I protested in the comment section. Uh, this video is, in essence, a 42-minute long exposition to denigrate another human being for being transgender. Towards the end of his video, he says he doesn't know whether he should call his opponent he, she, or it. Uh, to be honest, his, his opponent has a potty mouth and does sound rather foolish, but that has nothing to do with someone's status being transgender. Now, I am not defending his opponent's language. Again, I'm, I'm not defending this person's language. Uh, in the comment section, let me just pull this up. Um, it's a little small. I said, well, I certainly do not condone your opponent's language and behavior. I'm quite against it. The tone of your video is very transphobic, and I sincerely do not appreciate it. I am disgusted by how you present this video, as well as your comment section here. You did not need to hunt down or post this individual's personal Facebook page, whether your opponent is transgender or not, this is not acceptable behavior. Please reconsider re-uploading this video in a more tasteful manner, in essence not transphobic, or delete it. If this video stays up in its current presentation, I will not participate in any future events with you. He responded, I agree that posting the Facebook page was going overboard, so I deleted the comment with the link to the page. But you did. You did that, though. You went out of your way to post this person's personal information. Anyway, as far as the, uh, the video being transphobic, sorry if it came across that way. I was really just talking shit. I think I was justified in doing so. I will not be taking this video down, yada, yada, yada. You can just keep reading that. So I responded, uh, as long as you shame trans people and call them tranny on your channel, I'm declining any future participation here. This comment section here is abysmal. Um, and then some idiot wrote, trans people are mentally ill, just ignore that person. Um, anyway, it's been about two months since he posted his video and the comment section is nothing but transgender hate. So... This person said, I thought you weren't going to participate on this channel, pussy. I identify as your father and me and your mama. It's, it's too stupid to read. I'm not going to read all of this. So, um, <clears throat> I commented to Lizard K. Rule, this is what I was talking about. Your video was providing a platform for transphobic morons. And this person wrote again, um... Poor little cucky, just watch the video, you big pussy. You can play dress up on your own time. And you can see that Lizard K. Rule liked that person's comment. Rather than respond to me, he liked that guy's comment. He enjoys that comment. Anyway, uh, four days ago on February 22nd, 
I emailed Mr. Rule directly. Okay. There it is. Okay, I'm sincerely requesting that you moderate the comment section, disable commenting outright, or completely remove the video. Whether it's on purpose or not, you are essentially earning views and possibly money um, based on transphobia and also promoting it by leaving the comment section as is. Please take my request seriously. This video and comment section are toxic and I just felt compelled to contact you personally. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm contacting you to do the best I can do for my LGBT, LGBTQ community. Um, he hasn't responded. I've given him multiple opportunities to level up as a human being, but unfortunately, I can't change anyone. I can only expose them for who and what they are. The LGBTQ community is my community. Also, the FGC community is my community. When a toxic member of the FGC or elsewhere attacks my LGBTQ community, I will speak up. I've mentioned this previously on Twitter, and I hope you guys would do the same for me if that happens in the future. I don't know what the exact intent behind my video is. Uh, maybe it's just to expose a shitty person or shitty people. Maybe it's just me venting, maybe both. I just felt like it was really necessary to say something. 